There are a lot of personalized print-on-demand products that involve uploading a photo and then turning it into a cartoon or illustrated style photo. So if you don't have a team and if you're not an artist that can actually do this yourself and you don't want to hire it out quite yet, there are easy ways to do this on Dolly 3, Mid Journey, and some other AI tools. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. All right, I started with a picture of my cat where she's sticking her tongue out. Kind of a goofy picture, but she's kind of a goofy girl. And so basically I started off with the prompt to generate an illustration of a cat in the style of a Disney cartoon. Use this photo for reference. And this is what it came back with. Now, this was the second generation. The first one was pretty good, but I felt like this one was just a little bit closer to what I was looking for. So anytime that you want to actually upload something and you can do this with your prompt, there's a little paper clip here inside of ChatGPT. This is ChatGPT4. This will come with the pro version of ChatGPT if you're on the pro subscription. So essentially you can type in your prompt, generate a cat, and then you can click this paper clip and you'll be able to upload a photo that you want to use for reference. Now it doesn't just need to be pets. Um, I did a few different generations here in different styles of my cat, but then I came down here and I started doing a photo with me. So I'm gonna scroll back up and do a little bit more um, explanation here on these. Basically this one was a hand-drawn illustration. This one was a watercolor illustration. I moved on from this because I felt like it was starting to get further and further away from what the cat actually looked like. So I went over to um, doing people. Um, essentially I gave it this image and I said generate an illustration with this man in a spacesuit with a moon background. And so here's what it gave me. Um, again, by saying illustration or cartoon, it's more likely to give me a um, cartoonish illustrated drawing. However, if I were to say, give me a real, realistic photo of this man in a spacesuit with a moon background, it would do something more realistic. So the style matters. That's one thing that I'm trying to accomplish with my prompt is to give it a specific style. Is it watercolor? Is it canvas art? Is it a hand-drawn illustration? Um, so here's a picture of my wife and I in this photo. We were not married yet. However, I took this photo and tried to recreate it into watercolor style. And now this is okay. However, my wife is not white and I don't look like this. So I felt like, you know, this really wasn't the best regeneration. So I don't know how well it can do with people at the moment. So my next project was to move on down to our dog. This is our border collie. And Rio, I asked for him to be generated as an illustration of a dog and a cowboy hat. And so it came back with this really, really beautiful black and white style. Really happy with this regeneration here. And that was the first generation. And then I asked, please regenerate and have him wearing a crown and a fur coat. And so it came back and we basically made him very royal feeling, very cool styles that we can make very, um, we can get obviously way more specific with our prompts. As you can see, I'm just generating um, very, very simple designs. You could get a lot more specific. I switched back over to people once again um, in this case. And if you're wondering how you could use this with print on demand guys, there are all kinds of different personalized products out there for pets and people that honor and capture a special moment. So when someone has a photo, it could be a photo of many things, but it's usually a special moment that they want to capture. And so there are many different reasons why you might want to use this and how you might use it on different products. In this case, the reference photo is me standing in a bamboo forest. And I said, use this photo as reference as a samurai chopping through bamboo. And this is what it came back with. So really cool generations. Um, I mean, just, Cool scene, his fingers are a little messed up, but overall, and it doesn't really look like me, um, but overall, it's cool that I can give a rough image and get back a decent generation back from Dolly 3. Um, so here is me on a horse, and this is what it came back with. This wasn't too bad. Um, pretty similar to actually the reference photo, but the face, again, on the person. Um, personally, I don't think it matches too closely. Um, but a lot of the elements on, on the animals, I feel like matched pretty closely. Here's another dog. This is Dolly. And so I asked it to generate an image with um, a dog in a suit, tie, red, white, and blue flag, and with the text vote for Dolly. So this is important. You can do text generation. So um, we came back with this image where I think it did a pretty good job of taking the face of the image that I took, putting it on a 
political dog pretty much and then following my instructions uh the first time i didn't actually have to ask for any regenerations for this um so this looks pretty funny i could see someone um you know giving this as a gift for someone um, in their family if we wanted to do like a caricature style we could upload an image and all we need to do is specify that we want a caricature style and that's pretty much what it came back with Again, I don't know that it's perfect. I think an artist is gonna be able to capture everything a lot better. But if you're looking to get into personalized pet art, I think so far that's what I see the most potential with. You might be able to take some photos and turn them into um, some really nice pieces, but I think pets seem to have the greatest outputs at the moment. And so just to show you that you can actually upload many different types of images as reference images, this is a different generated design that I made through Dolly 3 and I uploaded it as a reference image and I said that I want to generate an illustration of a morel mushroom consoling another mushroom and the text morel support. And so basically it came back and it used the other image as a reference and generated this. So if I wanted to, I could ask it to take away the period and we could try and refine this to look more like a morel mushroom, but overall looks pretty good for being able to just hand it this one image and ask it to make something similar. So you can actually take inspiration um, from Amazon or Etsy or from your Shopify competitors, and you can ask ChatGPT to use their designs as a reference and while it might look similar, it will never be exactly the same. And if it does look too similar, you can always regenerate more versions and get something a little bit different. Maybe the designs that already sell for you, go ahead and take those and put them into ChatGPT and ask for similar designs. Because I mean, if you have something that's selling for you, you basically wanna take up as much digital real estate, as much online real estate as you can with designs that sell for you. So I'm not saying to oversaturate and spam with the exact same design, but maybe use it as a base, as a template. Let AI help you speed up your design process and speed up your success in print on demand. I hope this helps you create some amazing designs. Join the free Facebook group if you haven't joined the free, free Facebook group yet. Group coaching is open. So if you would like to join group coaching, you can book a free discovery call below and we'll see if it's a good fit for you. Basically every week we will meet and have a class together as a group and discuss what's working. And you'll also have access to me whenever you have problems or questions. And finally guys, please like this video. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions. Have an amazing day, create something awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.